Hi everyone, Ben Francis from Shot Darts here. Hope you are all well today. At the beginning of March, we released some new darts and one of the sets released belongs to our very own Barbara Hospodorska and she joins us now to chat all things darts. Barbara, how are you today? Hello, yeah, I'm pretty good to be fair. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Very, very good. Um, so thank you so much for your time today. I know you've got a very busy schedule at the moment, so appreciate you joining us. Um, can we start off with an easy one and just how long have you been with Shot Darts? I was with them for two years. Then I had a little, little break and then we decided to get a new contract, which included my new darts. So that's really brilliant and I'm really happy that I got this opportunity. Uh, can you tell us about how the whole process with Shot came about? You know, what made you want to sign with a partner with Shot Darts? Uh, I think Emma reached me out maybe it's now three years ago when they wanted me in a team. So that was really great. So I obviously was very happy with that and was glad that I could join such a great team. And it's maybe half a year ago, I think. Joey from a, from a shot asked me if I would like to rejoin again and get, sign a new contract, which, as I said, included my new darts. So that's that's brilliant. Can you tell us about your new darts? Like, how cool is it to have your own darts out there for people to buy? Like, they are not very grippy. So that's for me, it's very good because I've been always struggling to find the really darts which be, which is gonna suit me to so don't be too grippy. So I'm. It's something for the players who are not looking for too grippy darts. So, I think. And can you talk to us a bit about the design of the darts? I think there's a, a bit of connection there to your roots in the Ship Republic. Uh, no, not really. They are uh, there is flowers on them, which have been inspired by my tattoos on my hand. Ah. Yeah, so I, I have it on the dart shirts, and I have it on my arm, obviously. So that's been inspired by, by it and I think that's something very original and unique so I'm very happy with that to be fair. Do you have a favorite kind of flower? Some flower I would say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very cool so can you talk a bit about talk to a bit of uh, talk to us a bit about the whole process about how the dart was made and and how you were kind of interacting with shot because uh, of course you're based on the other side of the world. Yeah yeah uh, I was talking back uh, at the time with Andrew who was a designer for Shot Darts and together we were trying to figure out what I really need because the darts I had before they'd been too light for me and they wasn't really what I needed. So I told him what I would like and he was very original as I said the flowers on them are very unique so that's what we got together and I'm pretty happy with the results. That's awesome. And Shot Darts is based in New Zealand. Do you know much about the country and, and is it somewhere that you'd like to visit? I would love to visit uh, New Zealand, to be fair, yeah. It would be great. But of course, it's very far away. I was lucky enough to meet a few members of Shot Darts. So I know them personally. So I think that's great. But hopefully one of the time I'd be able to go there and possibly see the factory and see everyone else working for Shot Darts and see the country and everything about it do you know do you know much about the country at all no to be fair no like of course i know the basics but uh i think it's very much different to czech republic where i live so hopefully one time i'll be able to experience it and see how it how people live there and how you live there yeah uh now just talk to us a bit about your goals for the year what what have what targets have you set for yourself for 2023 so I want to play the PDC Women Series, which I'm playing currently. I hopefully, hopefully, I will make the Czech national team, which is gonna be played very soon. The qualifiers. So hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to play in the national team again. But I just want to play good darts and kind of like with my new darts to improve my uh, game to another level. So that's my that's my goal for this year. So hopefully I can play good and enjoy darts again. Can you talk to us a bit about the women's series and and what it's like to play in it and and the growth of it over the it's been running for a couple of years now. But in terms of how have you seen much grow? Have you seen much more interest with women in darts? Yeah, uh, women's series was played last week, and 
uh, there was about over 140 entries. So that's that's amazing. And it's of, of course, there is so many players from so many different countries and it's great to see that. Like, it's great to play. I used to play so much of WDF, but obviously uh, PDC is, I think, another level of the game and it's great to be part of it. What is your? What do you think has been your biggest achievement in darts? I think that's going to be becoming the soft tip European champion back in 2015. So that's a great memory to to have. No, that, that, that sounds like a, a very, very good one. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. I know it was a few years ago. Thank but... you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and can you talk to us a bit about your family? Like, How important is it to have um, your family supporting you on your darting journey? Yeah, it's very important. They are the reason why I started to play dart. My mom used to own the restaurant, and there was league and everything. Back back in the in the years, I was playing softball, so wasn't too much interested to playing dart. But since my sister started to playing, I obviously wanted to do whatever she's doing. So I wanted to be better than than her. So that was a bit of rivalry. But she didn't really like darts that much. So after all, she become the fun of me and stop playing darts altogether. But it's great to have them, my mom, my sister, my dad, and anyone really, my boyfriend, of course, he's a professional dart player. So that makes a uh, lot of difference. But uh, sometimes I make my sister to go with me and that's all well, like different experiences. It's a great fun to have memories with someone who you are close to. Uh, for like a little fun fact about New Zealand, we're actually not too bad at softball. Oh so yeah, <laughs> I actually know. I think I think there was a not long ago the European uh, Championship in softball. It was there, so yeah, I know a bit that they they play softball, but obviously I never never seen them really. Yeah, and what is the most re rewarding part about being a, a darts player, and especially uh, a, a woman's dart player as well? I think what's really great, like you can you can travel the world really if you if you want to you can you can join many of the tournaments you can even join the uh tournament in new zealand if you have the kind of money you need for it but of course it's it's a great thing you get to meet so many different people and it's just different different experience and away from the hockey what do you like getting up to in your spare time <laughs> uh, to be fair like my life is very much around arts Having the professional dark player boyfriend means I'm mostly at the professional tour as well. So I I like to be fair, darts is like ninety percent of my life. But when I'm not at the darts, I like to go back to Czech Republic to to enjoy my family and do things with them because it's also very important. I like animals, I like nature, so anything around that really. Oh, very nice. And what has actually been your, out of all the dart tournaments you've been to, has there been one that stands out to you more than others? I like playing for my country as well. So playing playing uh, WDF Europe Cup, WDF World Cup, that's a great experience to have a national shirt on and being able to represent not just you, but the world country. That's something a little bit different and it's something I uh, like to do, of course. Uh, and just finally, being from the Czech Republic, do you get lots of young female players uh, talk to you about saying like they look up to you as inspiration or anything like that? Uh, in Czech Republic, there is no so many girls, uh, young girls playing darts, unfortunately, but there is good few uh, young boys who thankfully support me, and sometimes I uh, they ask me about darts and about some. Uh, equipments like such flights and things like that what they should use and what they how they should throw so i think that's that's a brilliant so some someone looking up to me even though they are much younger than me it's maybe even better so i try try to show them like how to get to the development tour and how to do what to what's the best like to join the pdc so helping them it's make, making it uh making it it's it's just good to help someone even with your language barrier and things like that, it's just amazing to be able to help. Well, Barbara, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, fantastic getting your own darts out there and all the best for 2023. We can't wait to see you representing the Shot Darts tribe out there and smashing it with those new darts you've got.
Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Hope you have a good day.